In this video, I want to explain what's happening in part one. Um, sulfonylic acid has this structure here, and I just want to point out that a sulfonic acid group is acidic. It's an acidic functional group, and an amine is a basic functional group. So that's why I put um, this structure here in quotes. Um, so sulfonylic acid is actually a Zwitter ionic substance. That is to say that you have a, um, the base is actually protonated, okay, like so. And the sulfonic acid group is actually deprotonated like so. Okay, so it's neutral, but there's a positive charge and a negative charge in the molecule. Now, we need the nitrogen to be a nucleophile during the synthesis of methyl orange. So this is why we treat this with sodium carbonate. Sodium carbonate will deprotonate this acidic proton here to give you at least on the bottom part, the neutral amine, and then uh, the counter ion here is balanced by a sodium ion in solution. And I, I don't think it's too important to draw the curved arrow reaction mechanism, but in case you need to know what that looks like, um, here's carbonate. It's uh, dibasic technically here, and so it's gonna deprotonate here and give you uh, bicarbonate, okay? Uh, eventually that leads to carbon dioxide, which goes away, carbon dioxide and water. So here we have um, our substance that we're going to now use in part two. So this is water soluble. It's uh, ionic, generally speaking, ionic things are water soluble, much more so than um, things that are neutral, right? Things that are neutral, but this has plenty of opportunity to do hydrogen bonding um, with water, okay? So this is more water.